Hi guys. Welcome to the Worry Wild channel. My name is Jennifer Terrio, and I guess this is our initial video. For those of you who've been kind of around with us for the years, um, you know, I've kind of had a couple of different names. I um, was Bear Wellness for a while, and I've been Warrior Rewild for a few years. Um, but I took a kind of like a little, a little sabbatical. I've been in grad school, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, so this is really kind of a re opening of the brand and the, the services in which we offer. Um, so let me just give you a little bit of a background about what, what Warrior Rewild is about and how we operate and who I am and what my goals are and what I hope to bring as far as content and um, service to the community. So again, my name is Jennifer Terrio. I'm a registered nurse. Um, I have been a nurse for 26 years. I predominantly work in the ER, although I've done everything from cradle to grave and everything in between um, through the years. But I kind of settled <clears throat> about 15 years ago or so uh, in the emergency room. And I'm almost at the end of my emergency room career. I have um, just a few more months before I graduate as a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner um, with the intent of opening my own practice from there. I already have a coaching company. So the combination of that co coaching company and the, and the um, psychiatric services that I'll be offering kind of start to blend together. Um, but let me roll back a little bit and tell you about Warrior Rewild and then also the, the journey in which Warrior Rewild has led me on. So way back in the 90s, when I was in high school and getting ready to go to college, I was already interested in integrative and holistic medicine. I was very, I knew I wanted to be involved in healthcare. Um, pretty sure I wanted to be a nurse, but I was unhappy with the what I felt was a um, healthcare system that was in need of an overhaul, a paradigm shift of thought. Um, and it's funny now that I look back because it's almost like the 90s were like the golden years before everything started to kind of crumble. Um, but that back then I started, I was a Reiki master and a yoga teacher when I was in high school and early college. And then I went to, I went to, to nursing school right from, so I went to college right after high school and then I went to massage school. So I, the whole time I had one solid foot in conventional medicine and one solid foot in, in kind of integrative holistic medicine, just trying to figure out what balance that was. Um, but I am a firm believer in the balance of the two and that it's not about just throwing the baby out with the bathwater, right? There is a time and a place for allopathic medicine. Obviously, I think that because I am in a very conventional program right now to be a very conventionally, I'm very conventionally trained nurse practitioner. But I'm also continued that holistic study. So I'm also done programs like the Applied Quantum Biology um, Coll Collective, their practitioner program. I've done all sorts of different self-study and other certifications in functional medicine and in um quantum medicine and in holistic and into in integrative kind of all kind of mixed together quite a, like a little strange collection of things that come together and ultimately what I do is what I I practice ancestral circadian quantum medicine integrated with conventional traditional medicine and what warrior rewild is based on the concept of it is that we hold this deep ancient internal wisdom in our bodies and that we are living in a modern time but we are really ancient biological beings and these ancient biological beings that are now living in a modern life uh, lifestyle that's rapidly changing every day we have a evolutionary mismatch between what our body under needs to be healthy and what our current environment looks like so what i do at war wild is i bring education experience and coaching so that we can learn how to get out of the way 
of our body and allow it to heal. Because I believe that when you remove the barriers to health, your body will bring itself into homeostasis. Your body will bring itself into health. But unfortunately, we are being bombarded and often by things that you don't even realize that are creating disease. I function very much from a circadian perspective or even deeper than circadian, I'd say from that applied quantum biological lens. One of the things that I teach is the foundational factor. And you hear me say that a lot. And that foundational factor essentially is that health is the gathering, the creation, the storage, the movement, and the utilization of our subatomic particles. What do I mean? I mean that how we move electrons, how we utilize those electrons, ultimately, is our health. So, and it's not just your electrons, it's how your electrons are moving, your protons are moving, it's how you're the photons that you're, that you're absorbing in. Ultimately, that all affects the ATP that we make in our mitochondria, and it also affects the water that's created in that fourth, in that fourth complex area of mitochondria that ends up hydrogen, high, uh, um, that ends up going throughout your body and hydrating you on those deep, deep, deep intercellular levels. Ultimately, this is the base of health. So this Warrior Rewild teaches something from deeper than even kind of that general, like you think about allopathic medicine, which kind of is like a symptom based. We separate the body out to the different systems. It has a time and a place. Functional medicine is kind of in between. Also the time and a place. I also utilize that. Um, it can be really, really helpful to help tweaking once you get the basics and the foundations done and individualizing medicine for each person. But ultimately, they're kind of chasing what they call the root cause, but they're not going deep enough. I think you have to go even deeper and you have to look at that subatomic flow of particles. We are ultimately a dance of subatomic particles. It is about the electrons that we're getting, it's about the photons that we're getting, the, the movement of those on the intercellular level. And ultimately getting out of the way for the flow of those subatomic particles, the dance of the subatomic particles in order to facilitate the vitality in the body in order to bring yourself into, into balance or to health. It's been quite a long road for me to get there. I mean, it all started with me trying to be a health coach and somebody asking me, well, if I'm doing everything right. Why am I not losing weight? Or talking to clients that are like, look amazing, right? Like they were fit and healthy from the outside. Their body composition was perfect. They're muscular. They were performing well in the gym or in their sport, but they were sad. They weren't sleeping or they didn't have a sex drive. Right? Like the things that are so important. They couldn't maintain relationships or relationship with their children are falling apart, the relationship with their significant other are falling apart. It's not always what it looks like from the outside in, right? What I want to bring to you as we move forward is this 26 years plus. <laughs> I mean, if you count the years before nursing school, I would say that we're getting close to 30 years of deep study, trying to understand what it means to be a human being and what it means to be a healthy human being on the individual level and the societal level. And the integration of those 26 years into a method that I believe brings ultimate vitality and ultimate health and wellness for your mind and your body. And that's the important thing here is that our mind and our body are not separate, right? They're not two different beings. Like, you know, the this is still part of the body. People, we, the, we, we still have this stigma about mental health in um, American culture, but the, it's not that there's your eye, it's not black or white. It's not like you're either crazy or not crazy, right? It's not like that, and especially not anymore, right? And one, because we've raised awareness, but also because a lot more people are struggling with their mental health. And there is a bi-directional, 
um, connection between suffering with your mental health and suffering with your physical health, right? You really have to get them both aligned. So although my specialty is psychiatric and mental health, and I practice metabolic, functional, applied quantum psychiatry, I'm also a health coach just to optimize the human experience. So it doesn't matter if you are suffering from depression, bipolar, ADHD, autism. I have protocol for that, to help you with that. Or you're just trying to lose weight, or you want to be better at your sport, or you want to ha- you want to get pregnant, or you just want to sleep better at night. Sleep is one of my favorite things to work with because if you get sleep right, a lot of times everything else falls in line. The other thing that people find is that no matter what you come for, once we get one something aligned, everything else starts to figure out. You're like, wow, I didn't even realize I came because I was anxious, but I didn't even realize that I also was having headaches and belly aches. We're gonna fix all of it because it's all connected, right? It's it's all multifactorial. So as we go forward in the videos that will be coming as we slow and steady start to piece this together, I want to tell the story of the dance of the particles and how, why it matters, first of all, so that you have a, 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 a foundational understanding of what it is that I'm talking about and why it matters, and then how we apply that how we bring that into the real world application in our busy schedules, in our hectic lives. How do we carve out space to let these ancient biological beings be healthy inside this modern world? All right, guys. So I hope you'll join me on this as we move forward. It won't just be me. I'm going to do some of the foundational beginning, and then I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to bring on some guests to help explain this because this is not my work. This is I've I've built this method in which we build the warrior rewild method on top of the foundational factor, which is the dance of those subatomic particles, ultimately to create health and wellness in the mind and body. But it's so many other researchers, PhDs, physicians, nurses and health coaches, nutritionists, psychiatrists, all sorts of different modalities that we're going to bring together to really understand what it is that the method is built on. Because this is an evidence-based, but not evidence-limited model of health and wellness. All right, guys. So stay tuned. There'll be more to come.